G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I have got some new alcohol inks to play with today. Uh, a company contacted me. This is Homes and Living and these are octopus fluids. It says inks for professionals. So they said, uh, would I mind trying their alcohol inks? And I said, of course. So they sent me some. So I've got all of these and all of these. And um, what I did was I, yesterday I got a piece of paper and I put down all the, all the little colors so we could see them. Sunlight, yellow, caramel, carrot, dragon fruit, ladybug, hot pink, bloody Mary, fuchsia, pear, lime, lucky green, olive, deep sea, lagoon, sapphire, blueberry, navy. I'm glad that they've got a, lots of blues and a sort of a tealy colour. I love these three together here. We'll do those another day. Um, berry, plum and purple. And then they've got shadow, which it's kind of like a, sort of looks like it's a greyish purple to me. And then there's black midnight and then there's silver gold and copper so really pretty colors but today i'm thinking i would like to do fuchsia and hot pink so um oh there's hot pink i picked it up now look at that it's a decent sized bottle um that's the size of like the pinata bottle so decent sized bottle just move those just in case I spill anything and when I opened it I thought oh I have to you know poke a hole in but I didn't it already had the little hole in it um, looks like a nice size hole in there nice little lid so yeah came pre-pricked <laughs> so that's them there now um, I am going to put a link to their, their website down in my description so I am going to mix up my resin and like I said I think I'm going to do fuchsia and hot pink I should keep it out shouldn't I and fuchsia where's fuchsia there it is fuchsia all right I think I'm going to use those two with some white so just a pretty girly pour today and I think I'm going to do a bowl my big flower mold so I'm gonna mix up some resin and I will be right back right I'm back I have mixed up my resin it's the platinum art coat and I have done 175 grams of a and 160 grams of B. I'm just going to pour that in there. I've decided I'm going to put a little bit of pink glitter all the way around the outside. So we'll pop some in here. Maybe half a cup. Half a cup for pink glitter. And then mm, maybe 50 grams in there. So just over one and a half ounces for the white. I'll just do this over here on my scale. Okay, so that's for my white. So now I know I can use the rest of this up. Just gonna pour that in there. So I mixed it for four minutes. It's been sitting for 20 minutes. It's slightly warm, it's not very warm. It's only 20 degrees in the studio at the moment. I'm actually gonna push this to 40 minutes because you know how normally I pipe at 35 minutes with this resin? I'm gonna push it to 40 today just to see if it's any different. Let's clean off my stick. Um, yeah, so we'll just, just see. Right, so what I wanna do is probably shouldn't have bent off my stick. <laughs> I'm just going to push this out to the corners. Now, yeah, because I've got another 20 minutes to wait now until I pipe. So in the meantime, I'll push this all into the corners. I'll mix up my white. I'll drop my inks. I'll put my pink glitter in. Do all that kind of stuff. And then um, it'll be time to, to pipe. 
All right, so that's all gone into the corners. Gorgeous mold, isn't it? I love it, my flower mold. And I think it'll make a really pretty bowl. I'm, I've got this, I'm gonna mold it into that. So we'll see how that goes. Quick torch, not too close to the resin or the silicone, just to pop some bubbles. It's a very thick resin, so it takes a while for the bubbles to come up. Right, um, let's mix up the glitter first. Now this, this is just, I think I got this from Larissi. I got quite a lot of glitters from Larissi a while back. Because I thought while I'm here, I might as well get a few. All right, let's just see what that looks like. I don't want it too, too heavy. I just want like a hint of pink around the outside. And I've poured the main resin in first. And then I'm going to pour this around the, the edges. If you pour this around the edges first and then you pour your main resin in, it kind of swishes out and then it all pulls back in. So you get more of it pulling back in. Is so if that's what you want, that's that's fine, but I don't really want it to. So that's that's enough there. Right oh now I'm just going to pull this along the edges. It's really pretty. I should better make myself some room here so I don't knock things over. And then I'll drop the inks and then I'll mix up the white. And I've spilt already. Gosh, can't take me anywhere. Spilt already. Let me clean up. Clean up as I go. Alright. Let's do this. And hopefully I can just pour a little bit just along the edges there. Just thought that would be it look pretty on the bowl, having a slightly bit of a little bit of pink along the edges. Might have mixed up a little bit too much. It's only half a cup though. Whoa, I'm still knocking my things over. Okay, there we go. Don't want to put too much in. It is going to move and sort of, you know, pull into the center anyway. Okay, so just because I've mixed it all up doesn't mean I have to use it all. Just adding a little bit to the bits where it's a little bit thinner. Um, I think that's, that's about it. Okay, that'll do. Tiny bit left over. I can throw it into something else. Just kind of push that into the, the sides a little bit. Just to have a little hint of pink there. It's pretty, isn't it? I think when I used this mold last time, I did that um, rainbow coloured 3D bloom with the gold along the edge. And that looked really pretty too. It just lends itself to having something along the outsides because it's so such a pretty mold. Okay. That'll do, that'll do. Right, so that's that one done. I'm just going to find a mold to use for the rest of that, that pink. All right, so I'm going to drop my inks. Oh, this is exciting, use these new ones. So fuchsia is what I'm going to have in the middle. So I want it to be, like I said, nice and just a pretty, delicate, girly, pinky Color. Oh, um, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Oops, hang on. Oh, 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 there's a hair. There's a hair. Gosh. Let's give it another quick little blast before I drop the inks. Okay, so fuchsia in the center. Do five. May add more. 
because I want quite a, because it's a bigger mould, I want quite a, a decent amount of colour in the centre. Um, and then I'm going to, I won't put the lid on just yet. Um, hot pink. Hot pink. Around the outside. Oh, that's pretty. Like so. So we'll see what they do. I'll give it a minute to just to sit there and contemplate what it wants to do while I mix up my white. A little bit more just there. Okay. Oh, they're spreading really nicely. So that's good. I don't like it when they just... You know, they drop and they just stay there and they don't spread. Okay, so here we go. This is for the white. I'm going to use the Just Resin Titanium White. And we'll give it a stir. I want it nice and translucent. Not really transparent, but translucent. So I'll get off as much as I can off that stick and that's what's going in and we'll do I should better shake that a bit better I don't think I ever shake my white good enough well enough pinata white we'll go six one two three four five six six drops all right give that a stir oh look how pretty that's looking and see the the silver well it kind of looks like it's got a little bit of silver in there i don't know whether it has or not it's just maybe it's just the pink and it's just shimmering but um, it's kind of pulling a little bit on the inside which is lovely now the colors are holding them holding well so far I'm, i was keen to test another Ink. Uh, this company is um, an Aussie company. Well, they're from oh, where are they from? Not sure where they're from, but they're in Australia. <laughs> so you know, I'm happy to to test another Aussie company's products. Help a fellow Aussie out. Um, you guys may have known that I was also trying the Ranger inks. And um, they didn't hold their colour. That's why I'm keeping an eye on this, just seeing what it does. Because if it holds its colour, then that would be great. Because I wasn't that happy with the Ranger inks. I'm swiping my stick off so I can see what this is looking like. You can kind of see through onto the stick a little bit. So it looks like skim milk. So that's fine. I'm not going to add any more white to that. Um, all right, so that's that's basically all I need to do for now. What's the time? Ten past twelve. Um, I will come back to you in a little while when I'm a bit closer to my 40 minute wait time. Let's take my gloves off. Um, and then um, I'll put the white in the piping bag and we'll do some piping. <laughs> it's looking pretty so far. went and found my little puffy heart mold I'm just going to throw the leftover pink into that still got a couple of minutes before I need to start piping so just throw this in here just so it's not wasted <laughs> I'll give it away to somebody somebody all right let's just leave it like that and it can work its way around into there like so I think that was just the right amount wasn't it there we go a tiny bit more now with the alcohol inks I think what I'm going to do is with my little stick here I'm just going to move you out of the way for a sec actually I'm just going to put you out of the way up there I'm going to, I want to put another, because I want the middle to be quite dark. I'm going to put another two drops of 
three, actually four or five. Put another five drops of the fuchsia in there. And I've just dropped, it doesn't matter. I just dripped. Right, so what I want to do is, because it's got this sharp edge around, I just wanted to sort of do a bit of a swirl like that, just to break up the edge, like so. And then I'm going to swirl these two together as well. Just like so. I just like the look rather than having a, a sharp edge. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And now we'll just put the white into the piping bag. And then we shall get going. So this is going to be 40 minutes. And it's, it's because it's cooler now. It's winter. It is, well, it's 21 degrees in my studio at the moment. I've got the heater on. It was 20 when I started, but it's moved up to 21. So I just want to see what happens just with the extra five minute wait time. It's because the resin's thicker, you know, it takes longer to set up. Well, maybe not it's thicker, but yeah, it takes longer to set up because the weather is, is cooler. This particular resin, the art coat, it has a 70 minute work time. So normally I would halve that work time and that would be my piping time. So 70, 70, half of that's 35, so I would wait 35 minutes. But like I said, it's winter now, so I'm just gonna push it for an extra five minutes and see how we go. Um, cut the tip off that. Mm, it's a bit small. A little bit bigger. We go. I don't like to push too hard squeeze too hard with my piping so it's probably about uh, four or five millimeters there we go that's better it sort of holds its shape it's like a like a little worm and it holds its shape there all right now I don't even know what I want to do with this yet I, I do I think I want to just do lots of like thinner petals this time all right are we ready there's my middle Gonna sort of go out and follow this shape to begin with, and we'll see how we go after that. I haven't really thought about the shape that I want to do. I just knew that I wanted to do sort of lots of more thinner, thinner lines. So here, all right. Okay, it looks as if I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, I started that, so this is how we're going to go. We're going to just follow this. And then I'm going to wind my bag back up again so it's easier to pop. All right. And we won't go back into the middle with the white because there's enough in there already. Now I need to do sort of something like this, like that. All right. Now, I'm going to see if I can get, <laughs> actually no, I was going to see if I can get closer to the edges, but I, I won't. Oh, I can't be done already. No, I wanted to do more, I wanted to do more. Oh gosh. I wanted to do more. Let's do some more. I have to do lots of thinner ones. Winding it up again. Come right up here. Let's see what that looks like. Oops. Did I get you? Okay, I think that's probably enough. A little bit into these points here. I am going to bring my stick through those in a minute so I'll just put a little bit of resin there so that I can 
bring my stick through that. Make sure everything is covered. Okay, um, that'll do. I've got a tiny bit of the white left. Don't need to use it all just because I've made it all. So yeah, basically I wanted to have that darker sort of red center and then a little bit of pink and then white and then more pink along the edges, which is what I was going for. Just torch my little heart there. Alrighty, now um, I need to, I'm going to go through there, through there. My silicone nib keeps falling off when I wipe it through there. I've got to wipe it each time because I want white on the edges. I don't want pink on those edges. So I've got to make sure I'm wiping it. My little nib's falling off. So hopefully it'll still bloom beautifully, even though I've left it that extra five minutes. Okay, so now that's all done. And of course, it's just swirl time. Like so. All right, that's it. <laughs> uh, I always wish it would last a little bit longer. <laughs> Pack up all my, my rubbish, clean my hands with some alcohol, a little torch. Now this particular resin, last time I made up my bowl, I think it was the green bowl, um, it took about five and a half hours before I could um, mould it or shape it into the bowl. So it's 12.30, almost 12.30 now. So I'll come back in, I'll check it from the five hour mark, five and a half, six, anyway. I will be back when it's time to pop it in the mould, into the bowl. Oh gosh. Now let's see. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. I'm loving those colours together. And it looks as if it's blooming. And hopefully the colours will all look pretty together. You can see how the glitter's kind of very, very lightly sprinkling itself over the centre there. But the majority of it is, um, is staying on the edge because I piped it on afterwards or I poured it on afterwards. Oh gosh, I'm trying to fix my brightness here. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was fun. I'm loving the colours so far. So um, I'll see you in about five and a half hours. Right, I'm back. It is nearly 7pm. So uh, I checked it at five o'clock. I checked it at, oh, sorry, at five hours, five and a half, six, six and a half still bendy as you can see and I'm hoping that it's okay I'm not sure if I should leave it another half an hour like when you bend it if it kind of ripples then you probably need to leave it a bit longer but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it'll be all right I'm not gonna get this guy out yet let's just get him out hey Probably should have left him till tomorrow, actually. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, there we go. He's out. Oh, look, he's so cute. She, it's a pink. That's so cute. That'll make a nice little necklace or a keychain. All right, I'll just set him over there for now. Now, the other thing, um, I was thinking that this might be too, too shallow. Um because the where the the base is is basically going to be <clears throat> sitting just in here so I may I've got these as well these came in a set I think it's like six different ones this one if you look at that size there it's probably going to be a little bit too small so 
maybe this one this one's got a bigger a bigger base there so that base there will kind of be there if you know what I mean and then the petals will go up the side so let's try that one. Oh gosh I'm a bit nervous but I mean look at that that is just I just love that that looks so good I love the way the pink has done this it's like a starburst isn't it it's just amazing all right so it comes out easily so if you try to take it out and you like touch the sides and it sort of makes a dent then you know it's not ready so you just have to do a little bit of trial and error and see when your particular resin's ready um yeah again it depends on on the weather it really does i've had my heater on in my studio all day today it's been freezing outside oh look at that <gasps> look at the sparkle looks as if it's going to bend nicely all right so now i'm going to just no. can you see oh oh wow look at that oh my gosh that is just divine look at that that is so pretty well okay now let's get it in the bowl so I'll touch each little point at the top. Hopefully they're going to all go in at the same kind of <laughs> angle. And I'll try not. So you have to be able to push like that without leaving any fingerprints. So just be gentle. Look at that. Yay. Wow. I have no idea if it's straight or not. I guess the only way I can tell is, let me just grab a ruler. I guess if you wanted to be really sure, you'd measure from the point to the top is about five and three quarters centimeter, five and a half, five and a half, five and three quarter. Oh, six. Okay, so that's six. It's five and a half. But um, look, if you, if you were really worried about it, maybe that just needs to come down a bit. So that's, I guess it's a way, oh, five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Almost six. Yep, 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 that's it. I just had to push that other down a bit. So that's pretty perfect. Um, I would suggest that you don't like try and peel it back out and put it back in again because you just, you know, you might have trouble um, like moving it again. But it's in and it looks amazing. Oh, you're not going to be able to see very well in this light, especially white petals against a white background. But anyway, there she is. Um, and um, yeah, I'll just leave it in here to cure till tomorrow <laughs> can't really see all that well but the the pinks look really pretty don't they I, I really like those love the effects all right um we'll demold it in the morning and and see what she looks like all right see you then right it's the next day and uh the best way to to get your mold out is if you've got if you've used a bowl that's um, plastic and you can bend it all you have to do is just do that did you hear it go crack crack um, and then yeah it's it's loose so it's the best way to do it so get if you're gonna do these use a bowl that's that's bendy much much easier than using like a ceramic bowl anyway ta -da! look at that <gasps> Isn't that just not gorgeous? It's adorable. All right. Bring it up or bring it up. You can have a little closer look at it. Hopefully it's focusing. It's just so pretty. I really like it. I like that little delicate hint of the the glitter on the edge. Oops, I'm going to try not to get the ring lights in. I'm sorry. I've got lights everywhere, and because this is curved, obviously it's 
showing up my lights. Hopefully you can see. I might take it outside actually um, and see if we can get a, a nice shot like out on the on the garden railing or something like that and have a little look. Bring you down off the tripod because I can't see what you're seeing when it's way up there. So there's the petals. So getting back to the inks, I'm really happy with the way the inks have spread. I might even actually try and do this look and have that as the top because <laughs> I just think that's so pretty. So I might actually have to do a resin pour that has that on the top rather than the, um, the petals like this. But there we go. Right, I'm going to go outside and see if I can get a better shot. Come with me. I actually decided not to go outside <laughs> because the sun's just kind of makes it glary. I've just got it here on my other bench, my packing bench for my orders. It's in front of the glass sliding door, so I'm just getting some natural light there. Haven't got all those ring lights around, so hopefully you can you can see a bit better. Let me know what you think of it, you guys. Let me know what you think of the inks. I will put a link to these inks as well as a discount code down below in the description and um, yeah definitely we'll be using these again I'm really happy with the bottles I'm happy with the the way they spread um, there was no skin on top like the pinatas so yeah so good uh, good so far <laughs> but um, yeah I'll be using them again and uh, or give them some further testing. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of my bowl. And uh, I will see you all real soon again for the next video. Okay. Take care. Bye for now.